here we are, another day that I can check, check, check <laughs> off some of the healthy action um, that I had set out for myself. I wanted to make sure that I got some fresh air and some physical activity, that I ate properly, and that I gave myself some time to connect for, with my source and disconnect from the rat race that we're in every day. Which brings me to my point of the intentions in the morning. It's important for me to be able to really take time in the morning, even just a few minutes, to jot down what I intend to purposely do, um, what actions I intend to take to support my journey to wellness. If I don't write them down, then I feel like I'm kind of winging it. It's kind of like my little checklist to wellness. And I encourage you to get into the habit of doing it. It doesn't necessarily have to be every day. It could be during the week, um, sometime midweek. It could be sometime at the end of the week, the beginning of the week. Whatever works with, for you. But it's important to go back and check the list often to see where you need to phase in things or phase things out or course correct and to see just how much you're able to get done. Um, it makes a big difference to have something set. They don't have to be unflexible goals, but you also don't want them to be too vague. I find that setting the intentions in the morning and then doing the reflections at night on a daily basis it helps me. But as usual, a journey to wellness is very, very personal and needs to be tailored to individual. So I suggest and I encourage you to do what works for you and what makes sense for your own journey. Um, what else? There was something else that I wanted to touch based on today. Uh, water, making sure that if you're exercising, you are having your water with you. Very, very important. And even if you're not exercising, it's important to drink water. I wanted to point out a little reminder that if you are thirsty, by the time you're feeling physically thirsty, you're already dehydrated. So it's very important to try to get as much water as possible throughout the day. One thing that works for me is to keep a bottle with me, and then I get up and refill it uh, as I finish drinking throughout the day. And it gives me a little bit of a reason to get up from my desk, go fill it up, walk back, and it's a little bit of exercise as well. So we talked about the water, we talked about the action um, steps, we talked about the intentions in the morning and the reflections in the evening. Um, the other thing that I would like to close with is to make sure that you celebrate um, the little victories along the way to the accomplishment of the big goals. Today, I'm celebrating the fact that I had a time to get out of the office and to connect with self and source outside in the fresh air, in the sun, that I got my physical activity, that I got my water intake, that I ate properly. And some days it's not like that. Some days maybe I get one of those things done, but I still want to celebrate because it's very important. We criticize ourselves a lot. We are our hardest own critics. And we've probably been doing that. I know I've been doing it for a very long time. And I'm deciding to do different. I decide that I need to do much better, that I need to praise myself when I do well, and that I need to be my own cheerleader because being my own critic is not necessarily working for me. Is it working for you? <laughs> All righty then. So I'm going to call it a night to your health and mine. Now I'm going to go home and have a very nice and healthy dinner. I've already gotten that um, taken care of, so I already know that I'm having soup and salad tonight. Um, that's another thing that I would suggest, but I'm going to leave that for another video because this one is getting a little bit longer than I anticipated and that I um, planned for it to be. But just making sure that you do have your meals planned and that you probably have them prepared so that you can grab and go and not have too much um, to do with your preparations. So if you'd like to hear uh, more of this type of content, you'd like to share it, um, you like what you saw, please feel free to like, share, subscribe. Um, the channel is Cat's Wellness Journey, and that's K, the at sign, apostrophe S, Wellness Journey. Talk to you soon. I'm glad that I'm able to do this on a regular basis, and your comments are always welcome. To your health and mind again.